In the video today, we're gonna quickly show you how to fix your delayed data on Thinkorswim and enable real-time quotes. We're also gonna cover how to subscribe to real-time level two quotes, and all of this is done for free. Now, an easy way to tell if your quotes are delayed is by looking in the upper left-hand corner of the Thinkorswim platform. You can see that mine currently says real-time data in green. If yours was delayed, you would instead see partially delayed data in yellow, and if you clicked on it, you would see next to each one of these exchanges, Amex, NASDAQ, and NYSE, delayed data in yellow. Now, in order to fix this, all we need to do is head over to the TD Ameritrade website and log into our account. Once we're logged into the account, we're gonna go over to Client Services, the very last tab at the top. We're gonna to look under the My Profile tab and go ahead and click on General. From this page, we're gonna go ahead and look in the lower right-hand corner where it says Real-Time Quotes and Exchange Agreements. Now you're either gonna look for a little green edit button with a line underneath it, or you're gonna see a sign agreements button, but all you need to do is go ahead and click on that. It's gonna go ahead and take you to a page asking you what type of account this is going to be used for. So for 99% of you, and if you wanna get quotes completely free, you're gonna to need to say for personal use, you're gonna say next. From there, you just need to fill this out. What is your current job title, your job description? Basically, it's just trying to make sure you're a non-professional, that you're not licensed with FINRA, the NFA, anything like that, and as long as you're not, you can get real-time quotes completely for free. Now, once you're finished signing them, you should see next to each one of these exchange agreements signed. So next to NASDAQ, NYSE, OPRA, they all say signed. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and subscribe to level two quotes. Now, in order to do this, if you just sign the exchange agreements, you are gonna have to log out of the TD Ameritrade website and get logged back in in order to refresh the page. Once you've signed back in, you're gonna come back up here to client services. You're gonna look underneath my profile. And this time we're gonna go ahead and click on subscriptions. From this page down here below, you're gonna see the available subscriptions. And the first one we're gonna click on is real-time NASDAQ level two quotes. And we're just gonna go ahead and hit subscribe. You will see that it's a $0 charge, so it's not gonna cost us any money, but we do have to accept it and hit continue. And that's it. Once you've signed the exchange agreements and subscribed to level two quotes, you'll just need to refresh Thinkorswim by logging out and logging back in. And once you get logged back into Thinkorswim, you should see in green up here, real-time data. Now, in order to get this real-time data enabled on your paper money account, you will need to contact TD Ameritrade support directly. You can either call them or just send them a message through the support tab up here. You're just gonna create a new request and then here in the message, just ask to get real-time quotes enabled. I do think they still have a requirement you need to have more than $500 in the account in order for them to do this. But as long as you do, just send them a message or give them a call and they'll go ahead and flip a switch for you. Now, hopefully this solved your problem. If not, message me down below and we'll figure out what might be causing your issues. Also, be sure to check out my Thinkorswim tutorial playlist if you'd like to learn more about the platform. I've made quite a few videos about Thinkorswim covering just about everything you could possibly need to know. And as always, if you guys have any questions at all, please leave them down below in the comments and I'll catch you all in the next video.